And we are live from Philadelphia, said to be a city of firsts. And the first time I saw a spinal cord wrapped around a goalpost was right here at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The New York Tyrants go up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. and, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. That's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that'll be second and four. Oh, look at this guy break. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second down and long. Receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico for to crack the pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and eight to go. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. Man, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Boom!
And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Where? First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps on side to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and eight to go. Away. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. This is your brain. He is fighting for every yard. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. What is this, Andy's wrestling? Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He... Whoa, Mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> First down and nine. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of... And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it.
And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Oh, man, that's gotta hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. in his path and that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense and you better believe they will and it's first and ten in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Good thing to and he's off to the races. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. You can't keep a good meal. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And that'll bring up second and one. leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb boom dead and down nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy ah uh, well he was a violent alcoholic a terrible father and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs <clears throat> but uh, i mean he was a great ball player uh, you know that's really what counts at the end of the day right and it's first and ten Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. 
I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feel. And that's another turn. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. This isn't funny, I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man, what do we do? Down and talk so he out, it comes up. Ah, yeah, right. Third down and long. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down in a very lot. Stumbling, he could go all the way. Third down and five. If that hit didn't cripple him, it's sucked. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The defense is running low on line bashers. They have two left. They need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. Force meets the explodable object. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. Second down, and more than the QB would like. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. Kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. 
The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. He's and the defense is on his heels. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh. And that's a wrap for the Philadelphia Eagles, who are officially out of bodies to bring to slaughter. It's a forfeit, folks. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corp. We drill it, spill it, and kill it, so... You